Hello, you upright individual. Are you a bona fide member of society? Do you take your coffee by your desk while sorting your email? Well then, this video is for you. I'm Alex with Windows Report, and this is nine tips and tricks for Microsoft Outlook. In order to make these stick, I've decided to group them into categories. Try to think of it this way. First we set up, then we streamline, and then we flex with some pro moves. So let's start by setting up our inbox. First and foremost, we need to bring some focus to our inbox by filtering all those unnecessary CCs. We do this by right-clicking on any email message. Then we select Rules. Here, we go for the Advanced Options button and tick the option that says where my name is in the CC box. Now we click Next. In the next window, we select Move to Specified Folder. Once we do this, we'll get a clickable word in the Rule Description panel, just below the Actions. We click that word, and in the window that pops up, we click the New button. This way, we create a new folder. We name this folder CC's Inbox and click OK. Then we click OK again, then Next, Next, select Run this rule on messages already in Inbox, then click Finish. Now we'll have a brand new Inbox with all the CC's in it. OK, so let's move on and create a search folder. Right-click Search Folders and select New Search Folder. I select On Mail from Specific People, then I click the Choose button. Here, I search for Alex. I double-click his name, and then I click OK, and then OK once more. Now, I have a search folder with all the emails he sent me. Now, we've reached the last part of the setup, creating a group. Go to New Items, More Items, Contact Group. Click on Add Members and select the people you want to have in your group. Give the group a name, and then save it. OK, so we created a rule that clears our inbox of CCs. We have a search folder for all the meme mails from Alex, and we have a group that we chat with regularly. Now, it's time to do some streamlining. First up, let's create a template for when you do need to contact the IT department. Open a new email window, write your email, make sure you don't forget to write something in the subject line, and then go to File. Save as and in the drop-down menu, select Outlook Template. Now, you have saved a custom template for when you'll need it. How do you use it? I'm glad you asked. It's super easy, barely an inconvenience. You click New Items, More Items, Choose Form. Here, you activate the drop-down menu and select User Templates in File System. And you'll be presented with a list of your custom templates. Select the one you want to use and click Open. OK, let's try an easy one now and create a task from an email. Simply drag the email in question to the task icon and that's it. Sure, you can add a start date and a due date if you need to, but as far as streamlining goes, this is as good as it gets. OK, one more and then we'll move on to the pro tricks. Scheduling emails can be a pretty good thing to have in mind before you go on vacation. Maybe you don't want to come back, but you still like to get paid for a while. So you probably have to make it look like you're still at work, right? Here's how you do it. Write your email, make sure you don't have any spelling errors, and then go to Options, Delay Delivery. In the pop-up window, select the earliest date and time at which you want the email to be sent out. And then close the window. Now, when you send the email, it will actually wait for that specific date and time before letting it fly. OK, quick recap. We learned about setting up our inbox, we learned some simple tricks to help us streamline our workflow, and now it's time to showboat. Let's say you have contacts across different time zones, and you don't want to calculate the time difference every single time you schedule a call. What do you do then? You go to File, Options, Calendar, 
And here you scroll until you find the option to activate a second and even a third time zone. Give it a name and select the time difference and that's it. Now, when I open my calendar and change the view mode to week, I can see on the left side that my 10 a.m. call would be a 1 a.m. call in LA. Why can't they ever learn to use dual time zones in Microsoft Outlook? Ugh. So I should probably try to reschedule that. Okay, so here's one for the lazy ones. Dictation. If you have a microphone connected to a computer, you can just click the dictate button and let your inner monologue reverberate across the page. So put your feet up and dictate like the CEO that you know that you are. Sure, it might end up not making complete sense, but it's fun. And Outlook is all about fun. Speaking of fun, you can even change the look of Outlook. Click on File, then go to Office Account. Here, you can select both the background and the theme. I, for one, like the classic blue and white look. Speaking of that classic blue and white look, don't forget to keep a lookout for more cool videos on our channel and see to it that you stay glued to windowsreport.com for that error-free tech life. See you next time.